Unaware of your little stunt, the men I entrusted you with stood and waited for you to appear amongst the sea of students and faculty members outside the school gates. Were you aware that your bodyguards had nearly made a mess of their pants when they figured out that you were no longer within the school premises? They had spent a good amount of time scouring the entire grounds, to no avail. Their tails were tucked between their legs when they returned back to this manor without you in tow, knowing that they would have to face my wrath head on because of your absence. They are currently nursing their badly beaten faces as we speak. I hope their slightly battered state reminds you of how valuable you are to me. If you see them a bit roughed up tomorrow, covered with gauzes and bandages, do not blame yourself. They were on my payroll and were strictly instructed to keep an eye on you at all times, and they were ineffective at doing so. What happened to them today will serve as a reminder for them to take their job more seriously, because I will not be too lenient on them if this happens again. <sighs> the thought of you out there, somewhere, without protection because of their incompetence, brought out the monster in me. I will be painting the entire city in crimson if anything bad ever happens to you. Take heed, for I am warning you. The man in front of you right now is teetering between rage and relief. So let me ask you one more time. Where have you been? Hmm? Do not make me pry the answer out of you, love. Or do you perhaps want me to? You know what happens when my patience wears out. It's either you're dumb or just asking for it at this point. Testing the waters when it comes to my resolve isn't something you want to dabble on, or you are going to end up drowning. Is that what you want? You say you hate me, but we both know that's a lie. Your body burns, trembles, and yearns for me. There is an undeniable, deep, primitive tug between us. Our bodies are carved out perfectly to fit together like two pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. I affect you deeply, just like how you affect me. We're both engraved in each other's veins. Both bound in mind, body and so, no matter how much you try to deny it. You can have me any way you like, darling. Consider it as an open invitation, because I belong to you. Just say the word. I know you want to. You're just too prideful to admit that you like what I do to you. You like how I make your limbs boneless, how I make your brain unable to focus with just the use of my penetrating, lengthy, and meaningful vocabularies. You like it when my brazen hands skim all throughout your body. You like it when I wrap my hands around your neck 
as I frenzied my way through fulfillment. Oh, you want me to stop talking? I barely even started, and yet here you are, already writhing beneath my presence. Did my litany of enticements excite you? You want to explain yourself now? Okay then, humor me with your excuses. I will hear them out. But just so you know, regardless of the presented circumstances, your punishment still awaits. You will be undraped and on all fours as you act like a stool for my feet to rest on, while I leisurely sip a neat glass of bourbon later tonight. Is that understood? Go ahead and open that pretty little mouth of yours for me. But be mindful of your words, though. If I hear something I don't like, you'll end up on your knees, and I'll send your words right back down your throat until you gag. So you've deliberately snuck out just to piss me off. Now why is that? <laughs> Never mind. I know why. You enjoy the punishments I give you. Guess I have tainted you to the point of no return, my little prude. I should be ashamed of myself. But instead, I feel rather accomplished and euphoric. It brings me such joy knowing that only I could evoke such hunger out of you. Tell me, my darling, who owns you? <laughs> That's right, I do. I own every curve, every plane, in every dip of your body. I own every ragged, rapid, shallow breath that you ever make whenever we're molded intimately against each other. And I am messed up in the head for saying such things, but when it comes to you, my reasoning tumbles into oblivion. This reckless, savage lust takes over, and it terrifies me even. Don't look at me like that. You know I like it. Your stares beckon to me like a siren song. It makes me want to breach your every defense with urgency, and hear you purring beneath my touch as I probe in slow and repetitive rhythm. But for now, I shall refuse such beguilement. You acted like a petulant child just to rile me up. Cute, but also utterly stupid on your behalf. You risked yourself by being out in the open and unprotected. This disobedience of yours is not something I could turn a blind eye to. Listen. Kidnapping and holding you against your will for almost a year is not something I'm proud of, nor regret at the same time. I am not your typical knight in shining armor. My actions in saving you from your abusive, dysfunctional family were barbaric and questionable at first. We started out on the wrong foot. We have this love-hate relationship towards each other. But our shared number of kisses spoke of things left unsaid and hold promises for the future. The Mafia may not be the typical family that you want, but in this family, we love, respect, and obey, and most importantly, protect each other. My family is your new family now.
And I know that you know and accept this fact already. You're just feigning that you hate your new life because you enjoy it when I grace both of your cheeks with my warm, calloused hands until they're raw and tender whenever you act out. Your wildness brews beneath your gentleness, and I get all the credits for wrestling it out of you. We've made a good amount of headway during this conversation tonight. That's it. For now, you are dismissed. Be good for me and go upstairs. I want you in our room by the count of ten. One. Two. Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and thank you all for listening to this audio, and thank you all for all of the birthday wishes. I hope you all enjoyed this one. A special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Mystic37, Creek, Roxy J, Vinowin, Toka, Michelle, Nikki Pele, T. Briscoe, and Lindsay Travers. If you stayed here to the end, be sure to wish me a happy birthday in the comments, even if this is three years later. It's gonna put a little smile on my face. If you're interested in getting audios early or not safe for work extras, be sure to check out my Patreon. That'll be in the link tree in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much for everything that you do for me. I have been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.